breaking news now. President-elect Trump naming Fox News host Pete Hegseth as Secretary of Defense. I want to get right to Lieutenant Colonel Danny Davis. He served more than 21 years in the military, including a combat, including four combat deployments. Lieutenant Colonel, we thank you for being here. We noted that Hegseth has served in Iraq and Afghanistan, and he does have two bronze stars. Um, what is your reaction to the news? I understand you, you've been on his shows before on Fox News. I have, yeah, several times actually. Uh, and, and listen, I, I mean, I think he's a, he's a good pick. He's definitely unconventional, uh, which is kind of standard data for for Trump, I guess, uh, because no one saw this. He wasn't on anybody's radar. And I'm talking to a number of people who are uh, on the Trump transition team, and, and he didn't hit any of those radars. So uh, this kind of came out of left field. But look, you got to look at, at his policies and the things that he's talked about. And Trump wants somebody in there who's going to bring his America first agenda that wants a strong military, but that also doesn't want to use the military and, and you know, fighting any wars that are not necessary unless it's for our national defense. And uh, I, I think that we can count on Hegseth to come in because of he's he really understands veterans issues. He understands the value of human life and he's not going to want to, uh, you know, to move things in any direction. That's, uh, you know, that's neocon kind of thing yeah. or, or get us into wars we don't need to fight. So, you know, he's somebody who's obviously defended our country, right? And, he, and he's been awarded with two bronze stars, as we mentioned, um, along with other awards too in the military. Um, went to Harvard and Princeton, from what I understand here from reading this release here, but he's now going to manage this massive department, right, the Department of Defense. Um, what does it take to run that department? Obviously, he, know, he knows warfare, he knows combat, but he's going to have to manage a massive staff um, along with our, all of our different branches of the military. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. That is a monumental task. I worked in the Pentagon almost three years, so I know firsthand what that's like and, and how huge the challenge is. And, and I feel confident that they're going to make sure that he gets probably a deputy secretary of defense uh, who does have lots of time in the in the building, as they say, uh, and that does have experience with that. I, I'm, I'm very confident that they'll do that because they're, they're going to recognize that he doesn't have, you know, the, a lot of the firsthand experience at, at managing this massive organization like that. But I think the primary purpose that Trump probably wanted was somebody whose vision he shares at the top, and then they can bring in other people to help manage some of those other uh, bureaucratic issues. That's that's what I would expect to see. Looking back at at uh, secretaries of defense that have been successful and some that have been not so successful, what, what do you think are, are the keys to making sure that that sort of that secretary knows what they're doing and, and they're able to sort of implement? And obviously, at the end of the day, it's to protect our country. Yeah, the, the the most important thing I think is, frankly, to be honest and, and to not just say, "Hey, everything's rosy." If it's not, and we've seen too much example of that over many years, I won't go into the details of those. Uh, but if you see that there's a problem here, and and then it's not popular then we can't just say, yes, we'll keep going down that path. For example, there's lots of people who want to say we should potentially uh, go to war with China over Taiwan if, if they invade them. But right now, we don't have the military capacity to do that. And every computer simulation you want to look at for the last half decade or so has validated that. It is time for the Department of Defense to say, okay, I get what the policy we want, but if we don't have the capacity to succeed, then we can't go down that path. And the other issue that's playing really big in the Russia you Ukraine war is if we see our stocks of our national defense going down too low in key areas, then we have to say, hey, we got to do something different. We can't just keep giving this stuff away to everybody else if we're not even going to have enough. And that is that is going to call for some hard decisions and some hard choices on the policy side. Lieutenant Colonel Davis, we thank you so much for joining Top Story in such quick notice and for helping us out and understand this new appointment. We appreciate it.